Okay, Jackson and I are gonna get all the way standing up. We're gonna get into our world's greatest stretch once again. So let's start with our feet together. Let's get a nice big step going backwards. We're gonna twist open, sink the hips, and then stand nice and tall through that powerful leg in front. All right, so just work on extending that leg back, right? Big extension makes us a bigger stretch. Standing up strong through that leg in front is waking up the balance. All right, from here we go to our archer squat, so big wide stance. Remember with this, it's a hinge back. I want you to push your butt backwards, let the top of the body hinge a little forward, and then we can look at that inside hand. We'll bring it up nice and tall, we'll switch it up, hinge back, eyes up, and bring it up. Inhale coming down, exhale going up. Good, inhale, bring it down, exhale on up. Let's go last two. All right, and our final one. All right, from here, single leg deadlift with some reaches. And this movement we're gonna repeat into our slow, moderate, fast later today. Practice it, hands in front of the shoulders. You're gonna kick one leg back. You're gonna reach your arms out, bring the hands back in, stand up and switch the leg. All right, so early on, feeling your back and your core with that extension. And then let's feel and find back of the leg. We've got a little stretch of the back of the leg at the bottom and a contraction to bring us up. We got last two. All right, final one. From here, bring it to the floor. Let's get into our rotating planks. We got our feet nice and wide and twist over to one side and drop those heels, opening that arm. Bring it down, switch it over. Yeah. Mindful of those hips. The higher they are, the more those obliques are working. We got last two here, last two. All right, and final one. All right, from here, bend your knees, lower down, give me a child's pose, butt back to your heels. Reach your palms out, spread your fingers wide. Big inhale in. Nice long exhale out. Let's go ahead and bring it up, stand on up. Sip water, and then I'd like to encourage you to participate in practicing a few of our Tabata movements before we actually get them up and running. Jackson and I are starting on the floor today. Our first three movements are on our back, and our first movement requires only a single moderate weight. It's a movement we did last week. It is a great core burner. So what we're gonna do is have one weight overhead, and then the other hand extended up into the air at your side, now both legs come up and we do a scissor kick while we're holding that weight above the floor but overhead. Okay, more moderate option, we can bend the knees, we can also bring that weight a little bit closer in and still practice that. So we're gonna do that on both sides, 30 seconds a piece. Like I said, we're gonna stay on our back. You're welcome to use a weight on this or you could go body weight. It is a single leg hip press and then we're gonna do a side leg extension. So one leg out straight, we're gonna press up single leg hip press we're going to extend that leg out, bring it in, and lower. Okay, same thing, same side. Push through that heel, extend out, and bring it on down. Okay, so once those are done, we're going to continue to stay on our back and move into a reverse crunch with a twist. So knees are bent. We're going to lift those feet up, twist the hips at the top of the movement, and control as we come back down. All right, give me one more, folks. Awesome, we turn it around, we go plank position next. We're gonna do some lateral steps with our plank. Jackson and I are gonna start out walking to our left here first, but good plank position. We're gonna step out with both feet, step it back in and reverse it. Okay, so we work our way to both sides. One step out with the outside foot, then follow with the inside as you work your way side to side. You've got an option of being down on the elbows if you need, and of course, if you need breaks, you're welcome to it. Last up, we stand up, and we're gonna finish up with a combo of doing a single arm snatch and a single leg lunge. So, good snatch position. We get our feet wider than the shoulders. Remember, it's about the elbow bending as we go up and down through here, so quarter squat. Bend that elbow, rip that weight up, keep it up, do that single leg lunge. One side only as we go for that first 30, and then we'll be switching over to that opposite side from there. 
So ladies and gentlemen, that is your extended Tabata. Let's put it into practice. I want you on your back. I want you to have one weight around. We're going to have that weight overhead. We're going to do those single leg kicks to begin. 10 seconds is where we start. So let's get going in three, in two, in one. Now Jackson's going to hover this arm a little above the floor, right? So that's giving him some good balance and extra activity. He's trying to think about keeping his low back pressed down as well. Once again, a moderate option on this would be to bend your elbow, bring it closer in, and to bend the knees and do more of a bicycle kick. We've got 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds of rest will follow. Three, two, one. Recover for 10, switch the hands. Okay, now work to where that other arm is extended out. We start in three, in two, in one. Good, so as you can notice, Jackson has this weight just barely above the floor, maybe five, six inches above the floor. The closer that weight is to the floor, the harder you're working out there. Okay, beyond that, if you can think about that low back press, if you can put that into what we're doing, you are upping your activity big time. Take that challenge, take that cue. Okay, finished up in three, in two, in one. Next up is weight optional. If you want the weight, you put it on your hips. You do the single leg, you do the extension, and we bring it back down. We start in three, in two, in one. Hip press, extend out, and bring it down with control. Same side. A more manageable approach, we can just work on that single leg hip press, or if even that's a little bit much, we can work on just that double leg hip press. Keep things going for anybody who needs it. Okay, 10 more seconds. Let's think about our low back. Let's think about our core in this motion. Three, two, one. Rest, switch those feet out. All right, get ready for it. We start in three, in two, in one. Make it a piece by piece movement. Show me a great press first, a controlled extension and return, and finally a controlled return back to the floor. I mention it all the time in our videos, control is the key to not only doing your exercises well and to being thoughtful about your exercise, but also to get more out of it. If you slow things down, if you control the factors through there, you are maximizing your workout capability. Finished up in three, in two, in one. Put the weight aside. We're going to stay on our back. We've got the reverse crunch with the twist up next. Knees are bent. Hands are here. Let's start in three, in two, in one. Remember, we want to lift the hips and the butt at the top of this, and we want to make a little bit of a twist happen to each side at the top. Do a little twist to one, middle little twist to the other. Okay, a more manageable approach. We can just work on kind of minor hip presses, but most importantly, control. Most importantly, control back down. Nice extension, my man. All right, we finish this in three, in two, in one. I want you to turn around, give me a plank position. Feet are together, and then we're stepping out to one side, then to the other. We start in three, in two, in one. Walk both feet over to one side, then walk them back to center, then walk them to the opposite. Once again, moderate option, we can be down on the elbows through here. We can make smaller steps happen. And of course, you can take breaks and bend the knees anytime that you need. We've got 10 more seconds. After this, we're gonna stand up and grab a single weight for that snatch and step back lunge. In three, in two, in one. Work your way up, grab your weight, one moderate weight, Feet should be wide for that snatch. Elbow bends in three, in two, in one. Remember, bend that elbow, keep that arm up, and repeat. Okay, one side only for our first 30 here. Awesome. Moderate option is just watching depth as we go through this, making sure that your knees are happy. And we do that by using that heel in front. Remember that heel in front is your safety valve as well as your power source. In three, in two, in one. Let's go ahead and switch those hands. Keep that stance. We start 
In three, in two, in one. Bend that elbow, rip that weight up, and hold it. Good. I'm going to have you set back a little further, my man. Awesome. So if you, if you guys noticed at all, Jackson has done a really good job of keeping himself condensed. Maybe even too good of a job right there where I asked him to just step it back a little extra. But weight in that forward leg is the most important thing we can do. Weight in that forward heel. Finished up in three, in two, in one. Let's put that weight down. Let's high five each other. Woo! Come on, everybody. Marie, Darman, Sonia, Will, back there. Very nice, everybody. Love it. <laughs> now we got our feet underneath us. Now we know what we're doing. What do you think about that core burner? Mm. Three in a row, man. Three in a row? Three good ones in a row? Yeah, Is that what three, you mean? Three exercises in a row. Ja Jackson, Jackson has been very complimentary of the workouts this week. <laughs> Good to hear that. Oh, anyway, yeah. Makes, makes the coach feel good. Over <laughs> All right, everybody. So 10 seconds we start. Single weight in hand overhead. Scissor kick is where we begin. We go in three, in two, in one. Once again, moderate option. Elbow is bent here. And we're going to cycle those knees in and out, bicycle style. Eyes, we want to keep them up at the ceiling. Low back, we want to push it down into the floor. 10 seconds. Come on, last few, finished up in three, in two, in one. Switch those hands. Next side coming up. All right, other arm is out in three, in two, in one. We'll continue to keep those eyes up. Continue to keep that low back pressing down. You give me everything you can here. This is our last bit of work today together. Excellent. Smooth breathing. Steady that breathing. And you're going to find yourself rocking away. Okay, we stay on our back. Finished up in three, in two. And one, next up is weight optional. If the weight is here, it's on the front of the hips. Single leg hip press, side extension, and back in. We start in three, in two, and one. Up, extension, and back. They just work on the control factor. Four parts to this movement. Each one of them controlled. Awesome. Work through that heel in that grounded foot. Right, that heel is going to give you activity to the back of the leg. It's going to get those hamstrings and those glutes firing. Finished up in three, in two, in one. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Plan for the second side here. Get yourself ready to roll. We go in three, in two, in one. Extension, piece by piece. You give me four separate parts, smooth for each. we go and find whatever breathing pattern is working for you here that pace is going we got 10 seconds left we're gonna stay on our back after this and do reverse crunches finished in three in two and one let's put that weight down hands down right beside you lift those hips up give me a twist at the top three two and one Okay, once again, moderate option. We're just doing even a tiny lift with a tiny twist. Practicing things and controlling kind of our return back to the floor here. Less than 10. After this, we turn around and go plank position. Three, two, one. Flip it around, plank position, hands or elbows underneath your shoulders. Feet are together as we start. We get going in three, in two, in one. Walk both feet out to one side, bring it back to center, walk them out to the opposite. Once again, you could be on the elbows through here, more manageable approach. You can take a little break if you need to. You can bend those knees anytime you need. 
10 seconds. After this, we'll be standing up. We'll be doing that snatch and step back lunge. Finished in three, in two, in one. Go ahead and bring yourself up. Grab that single moderate weight. We don't have much time. Feet a little bit wide, elbows bend. We start in three, in two, in one. That weight goes up. Drive up powerfully through that heel in front. Bend that elbow going up. Bend that elbow dropping down. This is not a swing. This is a bending of that elbow with each. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Feel strength in your back with that hold at the top. In three, in two, in one. That's good. Prep for the second side. Last bit of Tabata here. We get started in three, in two, in one. Rip it up, step it back. Good, once again, let's find back activity with that weight up. And let's make sure that leg in front for the lunge is your power. Balance and power up front. Yes, that free arm could be kicked out to the side if you want extra activity or if it help you balance. Final few, everybody. We go finished up in three, in two, in one. That is good. Put the weight down. Woo! Oh. 